Elon Musk just made the impossible possible yet again. There is so much to discover and learn about space, but a significant distance hinders exploration. For instance, Proxima Centauri, the star closest to us, is 40,208 billion kilometers distant. If you take advantage of the optimal time to leave Earth, even the Mars Elon intends to colonize will require less than five months of space flight. However, long distances won't be a problem thanks to the invention that Musk and NASA have unveiled, the new light speed engine. Stay till the end to find out if Elon Musk's newest idea will be possible to achieve. The ambitious chief executive officer of SpaceX, Elon Musk, has been cooperating closely with the United States government space agency, NASA, for some time. NASA is delighted with the outcomes of this relationship since Musk gets things done. Didn't SpaceX just grant the contract to develop an Earth-Moon rocket that will land a man on the moon for the first time since the last successful journey there? The rocket that would be used for this one-of-a-kind mission is called the Starship, and it's part of a series of rockets that the United States Space Agency is currently constructing and redesigning. Something unique has recently surfaced. Recently, scientists tested a brand new kind of rocket fuel that you may never have heard of. What if rockets used electricity as fuel? They might be thinking of mortar and rotors as potential thrusters already. However, the issue is linked to a completely separate phenomenon. Methane is the primary source of power for modern rockets, which is a welcome advancement over the earlier models that use kerosene. Things might get pretty messy if you don't have enough room to store adequate fuel. You know what it's like to become stranded in the middle of nowhere? It's also necessary to produce the fuel in advance and load it down to the rocket before taking off. So how much space will be needed for the fuel tank of a rocket that uses about 11,000 pounds of fuel every second? Don't you see that hoping to successfully travel outside the solar system on this rocket system is just a fancy scheme? Elon Musk has high hopes for this new light speed engine rocket, which may travel at the speed of light, but he acknowledges that it is unrealistic to expect a successful journey outside the solar system on board this kind of rocket system. Did you guys know in 2022 the average launching rate of the SpaceX is nearly one rocket per week? Recent days have seen the unveiling of what Elon and a team of NASA experts consider to be a revolutionary rocket engine. It's hard to fathom Elon Musk's ambitions, which sound entirely insane until you think of an instrument that can move a million times faster than a shooting star, which is the kind of thing he's trying to build with his light speed engine rocket. Powered by the Raptor's roaring V8, the Starship is 120 meters tall, making it the highest rocket ever constructed by humans. Its 33 Raptor engines can generate a thrust of up to 500,000 pounds. The super heavy rocket is through its final tuning stages before its inaugural launch into orbit. But the light speed rocket will be smaller and lighter thanks to eliminating unnecessary fuel storage components. The Falcon 9 Space Shuttle and the Starship both employ thrusters. But this rocket uses some distinct physics, which result in a phenomenon challenging the accepted scientific explanations for a certain phenomena. Let's have a look at how chemical rockets function so that we may get a better understanding of this topic. Newton's third law of motion states that action and reaction forces are equal, and the opposite is the primary foundation for chemical rockets. The same concept can be seen in rockets like the Falcon 9 Space Shuttle and the Starship, which employ thrusters in their propulsion systems. But what exactly is thrust? A thrust is a force that sets a craft in motion while it's in air and it is generated by a propulsion mechanism known as the rooster. The bouncing of microwaves inside a contained space generates propulsion, so it's not as complicated as you might imagine. Electromagnets have some peculiar characteristics when cooled to highly negative temperatures. This state allows them to exhibit these characteristics. They begin aggressively vibrating within the first few nanoseconds of having an electric current that will be harvested from solar energy applied to them. Now, the method of arranging this vibration by causing them to go in one direction is where the secret lies. It is this approach that holds the key. The engine's dimensions are 656 feet by 40 feet, and it's entirely made up of ions that move independently of one another. According to research, the amount of power necessary to generate a Newton force sufficient to speed up one kilogram of mass is equivalent to around 165 megawatts. Let's make this idea much easier to understand by elongating a spiral spring and then letting go of it just before it snaps back. You should feel a thrust that didn't appear to have an active force behind it. According to David Goodwin, the United States Department of Energy program manager, NASA is developing a helical-shaped engine that will vibrate confined ions in a loop. 
by modifying their vibration to be back and forth in direction of travel, a successful thrust can be created, which is something that NASA has confirmed. This method is more encouraging than it has been fully deciphered in that it can provide power to launch a spacecraft faster and much further than any chemical rocket could ever do. This method has the potential to send spacecrafts quicker and farther than any chemical rocket ever could. David was in charge of directing a groundbreaking propulsion physics project that NASA carried out in 1990. The project's objective was to design a propulsion mechanism that did not require using fuel. Therefore, the concept is not entirely new. In the year 2001, Robert Shazier was the first person to build an instrument that exemplified the concept of electromagnetic drive. Researchers from the United Kingdom, the United States, and China have repeatedly demonstrated the electromagnetic drive phenomenon, but no one seems to be quite sure how it's applied now. Furthermore, critics say that it's still too early to celebrate that none of these tests was carried out in a vacuum. Physicists believe that particles and the quantum vacuum are incapable of being ionized, which means they cannot achieve the necessary ion state and as a result can't produce energy. However, a research team from NASA has proven this claim false. They have successfully tested the EM drive under the typical conditions of deep space and discovered that it could function properly in these environments. At the very least, it needs to be for Elon Musk, who is unique among people who are enthused about space travel and who hope to establish human civilization on Mars by the year 2050. But the journey beyond the orbital zone is a rough one, and even Elon Musk admits it. He says such a journey will be dangerous, cramped, complex, and hard work. And it's not for the faint of heart. He is right because a typical spacecraft rocket is not designed to withstand the rigors of traveling beyond the orbital zone. A trip to Mars takes a little more than seven months, and by the time you begin to see the topography of this alien planet, you'll have traveled not less than 300 million miles from Earth, which is entirely impossible and unattainable. Elon Musk's physics-defying light-speed engine is used if the Falcon 9 rocket is required. Will it be possible to fly or move at the speed of light though? Let's first examine some of the difficulties that the EM drive concept must overcome. How is this vessel going to withstand the meteorite ordeal? Even though a meteor only travels at 120,000 miles per second as it enters Earth's atmosphere, the ship will be damaged by the Earth's atmosphere's bombardment of air particles. A meteor is undoubtedly constructed of cosmic rocks, which you would assume to be tough enough, but even so, how much more will a delicate spacecraft return to Earth from a far-off planet when it approaches Earth's atmosphere at the speed of light? SpaceX still has a lot of work to do before this idea can be put into play. What's your opinion on Elon Musk's light engine? If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Do tell us your views in the comments section.